Welcome to the AMA's interview day. This is when the radio stations come in and interview all the hottest artists of that year and those who have been nominated or will be receiving awards. We did some odd jobs, we took some photos and videos and also got to do some celebrity interviews ourselves. And the day started off with a performance from one of my favourite artists in primary school. This is Matt Nathanson with his song Come On Get Higher. So come on get higher, loosen my lips, faith and desire, swing your hips, pull me down hard. Hello and Sanghe. Sanghe. So smush it together. Nong Ho Sanghe. Nong Ho Sanghe. You guys actually really good. That means hello Shanghai. There you go. Ni Hen Piao Liao. Ni Hen Piao Liao. Ni Hen Piao Liao. Ni Hen Piao Liao. Yeah, that means you're beautiful. Ni Hen Piao Liao. 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 <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I'm playing Chinese whispers here and it like changes every time. Ni Hong, Xiao Liang. This is Chi Codes. You listen to the KFM. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, just... Hey guys, we're MKTO. M. What's up guys, we're MKTO. What up? This day was absolutely non-stop. We researched the artists, we prepared questions, and whichever artist came our way, we would try and squeeze ourselves onto their timetable. Most artists have a very limited amount of time at each station, as there were so many radio stations to go and interview at one by one. The highlight of my day was seeing Jesse McCartney, where did he even come from? And also being able to finish on a high with Rita Ora, and then a concert from The Cheat Codes as well. Talk no promises. We're at AMA interview day. <laughs> We've done a whole day of work. Show us how it's done. <laughs> Gorgeous. Day two of the AMAs was even more insane. We made it straight onto the red carpet and I was so starstruck I almost fainted multiple times. My job for the day was to get a lot of photos and footage of all the stars arriving and I managed to squeeze my way into the paparazzi area where they enter from. I was armed with my iPhone and G7X ready to take on the day. Hey, hi everyone, it's crazy. We're at the AMAs red carpet and you've got all these stations and then the fan booth here and then I'll show you a little sneak peek onto the red carpet. So now we're on the paparazzi stage and it's super big, people are shouting and then the stars will fly box by box by box We finished the whole day. I was stuck at the red carpet paparazzi area for a long, long time. I was meant to be running around doing other videos, but I wasn't allowed out until the red carpet was basically over. So now that it's empty, 
this is what it looks like. It's a long day. Highlights were obviously seeing Taylor Swift. It was also Bino Waldorf from Gossip Girl. And then there was also Colby Saunders from How I Met Your Mother and Tyra Banks, Heidi Klum. Like the, the list of stars is just so random and so amazing. So super exciting. And behind me is all the, the media stations where people were doing the interviews. And then the red carpet was just over there. Good evening, everyone. We're at the Grove and I found friends. Everybody say hi. Um, so we're at the Grove for dinner. We're at this place called La Piazza. The Grove is so nice. There's like shopping centers. They have a Halo Top ice cream place. And there's like Nordstrom and a lot of shopping. And it's just really, really nice. I can see why the Grove is so popular now besides beautiful restaurants and the shopping there's also a cinema there and the whole atmosphere is just so Disney and quaint and lovely we also took a peek around the farmers market afterwards we went to Catch LA for drinks and the place was beautiful it was a rooftop bar and I highly recommend it if you want to have dinner or just go for some drinks Another sunny morning in Los Angeles. I'm back here again to meet with one more agent. Um, fingers crossed because I really need this to work right now and to figure out some more visa things and hopefully take some acting classes or courses or just audit a masterclass while I'm here. Um, so I'm just emailing every people. And then today I should be going to Venice Beach with Christy and Sharon, so it's gonna be exciting. And maybe we can see a farmer's market or something as well. So uh, I'm staying in Hollywood, so I'm just like one street down from Hollywood Boulevard so at the next intersection we'll start seeing the stars and then we'll start seeing like TCL and like the Chinese Roman Theatre so it's gonna be an exciting day We're Venice Beach good morning we're on the hunt for some coffee it's 3 30 pm but it's it's the morning for us. It's the morning in Melbourne. Oh, what? Where? Oh my god, are you all the Orbi things when you go inside? Now we are in Abbott Kinney. Um, we came here a little bit late. Usually this is the marketplace. Shazza! Maybe she's, is she looking at a clothing store? Oh, there she is. Um, so usually this is like a flea market and there's food and well, food and like you can buy clothes and stuff. And now we're here for dinner and oh, look at this beautiful sunset. No. <laughs> Bye! Oh my god, she's so cute! Really? Well, how old is she? Um, seven months. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Do you get scared like walking oh her around? What if like... Uh, this is why we're walking. Good evening, we're having dinner now and we're at the butcher's daughter on Avakini and it's vegetarian, a little vegan options as well. Very, very cool and fun. This is squash spaghetti carbonara, lasagna. What was this? Kale pizza or something. Oh my god! Right. So today's audition is a 16, 17 year old girl, quirky, eccentric, a mutant. So has special powers of turning back time and changing time. So for quirky and eccentric and energetic, I put it into two space buns because I'm meant to be looking 16, 17. So I thought. Why not? And a uh, oversized denim jacket, the snake print pants for the quirky part, and for the young part, just some Stan Smith sneakers. So, do I look quirky, energetic, and fun, and young? Do I look 16, 17? Wish me luck! I'm so nervous. <sighs> so, that was a nightmare. I'm like, still shaking from that. That was the first audition in my life where I like screwed up the line so bad. I had to restart three times and I was talking so fast. Like I already talked really fast, but 
oh my god i was just so nervous like i've never been so nervous during an audition before and i think it's also because i had to do like an american accent it was my first audition in america and i was like so yeah that did not go great i had to restart three times and i kept screwing up the lines so practice is practice this is why i wanted to come to america as well even if i didn't get an agent or any jobs i just wanted to audition for random things just so i can start practicing again because if you keep doing videos and self tapes you can just keep retaking them at home and like editing them it's like so much easier so it's a little bit different when you're doing it in person you get super nervous so oh well that was an experience on to the next one they have an office dog hi jagger really no you need a cutie. You need a cutie. Nee, 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 nee. Look at this beautiful blue. For dinner, we met up with my friend Henry, who just moved back from Shanghai, and we went to EP and LP in West Hollywood. Although a little pricey, this modern Asian place was absolutely amazing. Every dish. Wow, so spectacular. <laughs> If you don't want your night to end there, there's also a rooftop bar on top where you can get some boba alcoholic drinks as well. Today I went to have a meeting with a management company and guess who got signed? Don't save me! Jenny! Yay! Oh my god, so cute, get it!